That's Karen. Seriously. She's my first slide because if you know Karen, she insists on you doing things, and when, you, when she asks you, she makes you do it. But the neat thing about it is that this is about, my thing's about being inspired, and by her asking me to do it, she made me think about what I do, about what we do in educating kids. And what I do is I use opportunities, experiences to give kids, to make kids think about who they are. I also, uh, we take them on trips. They get experiences like, like Jordan up in, in Nunavut. But it's all about food and about connecting kids to culture and food. And through that, it's planting a seed. And it's about, I'm talking too fast. I'm getting to my other slides, so I'll slow down a little bit. I can do a, I can do a five minute speak in about one minute, so <laughs> slow me down. So it's about connecting kids through experiences and planting the seed. So this is, this is the whole idea is, is what we do. It's not necessarily planting the seed and putting it in the ground, but it's giving them experiences in different ways and by connecting to different people that are going to change the way they think about their lives in the future. I had the fortune the benefit to be in, in Ottawa last week and to, uh, to uh, <laughs> hang, out with teachers, <laughs> hang out with teachers from across the country. And one thing that we found in our discussions is that we don't really teach our classes. We teach our classes in, uh, in a way of bringing people in to help us teach it. So basically, I had to do that one because it was him going like that and the kid going back. So it, it all worked together, I thought, pretty nicely. But we teach our classes by bringing people in from the outside. We get paid for it, but they teach the class. So we benefit from having people like Mark, by having people like Sean and Steve Stacy and Brendan who come in and work with our kids and plant the seed and sprout that idea of different things. It's not just about food, it's about that whole thing again about about thinking about life outside of, of the box and about thinking about life as, a, uh, as, a, as an adult, not just a kid. In Ottawa, just quickly, Robert Thirsk was there. He's one of the Canadian astronauts. And he talked about when he was in grade three and his teacher introduced him or they brought the class in and showed them the space program. And at that point, he knew that he wanted to be a, uh, an astronaut. So it worked really nicely. So what we do again is we bring chefs in. This is Joshna. Joshna comes in from Toronto. We live in a very white community, if you haven't noticed by looking around the room. <laughs> Joshna comes in and teaches the kids about Indian culture and about Indian food, and they, they embrace it. Uh, the Governor General, we've had been with him a couple of times, and he's cooked, cooked with the kids. But in his talk, in his, his introduction to the kids, it isn't just about food, it's about what you can do. And he's a, he's a great guy, and he's just an example of the other ones that we bring in. Uh, Mark Lass, our farmer guy, Mark has been really, uh, works with our, er, with our kids, brings product in like this and has the kids out to his farm. So it's a neat way for them to see where the food comes from from seed to table. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a hunk of beef there. So sometimes we think kids are just along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, my friend took that in Thailand, but they actually do listen. Even though you think they're not listening to you, they're listening to what you're saying and they're absorbing it and down the road it may actually click in. Brendan is one of my students from years ago. Brendan was, uh, was always involved in the avocado. We took Brendan to, uh, to Slow Food, and not long after that, Brendan, taking, I, I asked him today, and even if he said it wasn't true, but using the experience, I'm gonna use it anyway, using the experiences from the people, he was inspired and then became uh, the farmer that he is now, and, and a great example of a young farmer in our community. So the idea is to inspire and to be inspired. Not only do we help them out, but we gain so much from them, from uh, what they give back to us. So the whole story of the chicken. My earliest food memory was my grandmother, Bubby's chicken soup growing up. We'd go to her house and uh, there'd be the smell of chicken stock coming in up, up in the stairs, plus some natural gas. And <laughs> well, in the old days, natural gas is everywhere. But Bubby and me, of course, made chicken stock out of chicken's feet because that's what you did. You didn't waste any of the animal. And so coming out of her bowl and out of the pot was always these chicken feet. So I tell my kids that in school and they're always freaked out by it. But that's my earliest food memory, chicken, chicken stock. When I smell it, I still flashes back to me. That's me. That's a, I'm older than they are, but that's me down there. You can tell I wasn't very tall back then. <laughs> and I was surprised to learn last year as I pulled my report cards out with my principal that I was actually a little jerk in school. Might not be a surprise to many, but uh, I was a pain in the ass. So what my science teacher did in grade 10 is they did some differentiated instruction. He gave me a chicken, and he told me to go out to the courtyard and boil that chicken down and make this beautiful statue of a chicken. That's not the one I made because it didn't work out. But uh, <laughs> so what I was doing while I was doing the chicken is that uh, the rest of the kids were learning instruction or learning, learning the curriculum and I was boiling a chicken. For me, it worked out fine because I learned how to make a chicken stock and that's why I am where I am right now. My final slide is one of my students' favorite ones and it's this guy. We took it when we were in Italy and, and sort of what 
I put it up there for because it it's kind of goofy, but the kids love it. But it's about being comfortable in your skin, and that's one thing we teach the kids, and to be comfortable with who you are, and then your passion will come from all of that and from the people around you. So that's kind of it. And that's my story.